Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I will be sharing with you on how to solve logarithmic equations. But before we continue, I want to thank those of you that have subscribed to this channel and also encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Like the video, share the link with your friends and remember to click on the notification button. Thank you very much for your support. All right, let's get started. Over here, we have a couple of questions and we'll be looking at them one after the other. The question says, solve the following logarithmic equations. And um, question A, log x squared minus 2x plus 5 to base 2 is equal to question B, log x squared plus 2x plus 2 to base 3 is equal to 0. And um, the C question, log x squared plus 15 to base 4 is equal to 3. And finally, log x squared minus 5x plus 50 to base 10 is equal to 2. All right? So we're going to take them one after the other. And we are starting with the first question, question A. All right, question A, we have log x squared minus 2x plus 5 in parentheses to log 2 is equal to 2. All right, so first you must um, recognize this as the base and switch it over to this direction and make uh, to the exponent. So when we do that, we're going to have x squared minus 2x uh, plus 5 is equal to exponent 2. All right, so, you know, 2 exponent 2 is going to give us 4. So automatically, this becomes x squared minus 2x plus 5 is equal 4. So now, um, this, is, uh, this is already a quadratic at this point. So now let's subtract 4 from both sides. Subtract 4 from both sides. So when you do that, 4 minus 4 is going to cancel out. And um, this will become x squared minus 2x. And 5x minus 4 is going to give you 1. So you have plus 1. And this will be equal 0. So now, we are going to find two factors of uh, plus 1 such that when we add them together, we should have plus negative 2, negative 2, all right? So two factors of plus 1 such that when we add them together, that's going to give us negative 1 and negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. And negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2, all right? So once we have found this, all we have to do is just... Add your x here and x, and this will be equal to zero. Since both of them are the same, so this is going to be set them to zero. So this will become x minus one is equal to zero, and also x negative one is equal to zero. So you add one to both sides, add one to both sides. So negative one plus one is going to cancel out. So now x is equal to one, and on the other side, we can also add one to both sides. So negative 1 plus 1 is going to cancel out also, and x is also equals to 1. So since we have x equal to 1 in both, we can simply write it as x is equals to 1 twice. It means it's repeated, okay? So this, the final answer to this question, I hope it makes some sense, all right? Let's move on to the next question. Question B, we have x squared log x squared plus 2x plus 2 in parentheses to base 3 is equal 0. Okay, so first you must recognize the base. The base is um, 3. So all we have to do now is switch this over to this direction and make 0 the exponent. So when we do that, this becomes x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal 3 exponent 0. So now this... Uh, any number to exponent of 0 is 1, so this will become x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal 1. So now let's subtract 1 from both sides, subtract 1 from both sides. So this is going to cancel out. 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so it means this will cancel out from here. So the equation becomes x squared plus 2x, uh, 2 Minus 1 is going to give us a plus 1. Plus 1 is equal to um, 0. So now we need to find two factors of, um, of 1 such that when we add them together, we should have 
uh, plus two, plus two, we should have plus two. So now plus one times plus one, plus one times plus one is plus one. And also plus one, plus one, that's gonna give us um, plus two. So all we have to do now, add X to this and put it in parentheses, add X, put this in parentheses and this will be equal zero. So now you can set them to zero. So X plus one is equal zero. X plus one is equal to zero. So now subtract one from both sides. So plus one minus one is gonna cancel out. So this will cancel out. And now we um, have X will be equal to negative one. And we do the same to this negative one. Subtract one from both sides. So when you do that, plus one minus one will cancel out and um, x will be equal negative one so it means that we have the same value for each of them so x is not equal negative one if we just write twice it appear twice twice and this becomes the final answer to this question i hope it makes some sense all right let's move on to the next one question c we have log x squared plus 15 in parentheses to base 4 is equal 3. Okay, so now recognize the base to be 4 and switch this over to this point and um, make it the exponent, make 3 the exponent. So this will become, um, once you do that, you ignore the log. So they become x squared plus 15 is equal 4 exponent 3. So 4 exponent 3, so this will become x squared plus 15 is equal. 64. So at this point, we're going to subtract 64 from both sides. Subtract 64 from both sides. 64 from both sides. So when you do that, uh, 64 minus 64 is going to cancel out. So this will become um, x squared uh, plus 15 minus 64. Remember, this is 64. Okay. So plus 15 minus 64, that's going to give us um, negative 49. So we have negative 49, and this will be equal to 0. So um, 49 can be um, changed or changed into 7 squared, because um, 49 is a perfect square. So that's the same thing as 7 squared. So when you look at this now, this is applying the principle of, um, of um, difference of squares to this automatically this becomes x minus 7 in parentheses x plus 7 and this will be equal 0 so can set each of them now to 0 this will be equal 0 and x plus 7 is equal 0 so add 7 to both sides add 7 so when you do that negative 7 plus 7 we cancel out and x will be equal 7 and over here we can subtract 7 from both sides and plus 7 minus 7 will cancel out and x will be equal negative 7 therefore x is equal 7 or negative 7 this is the final answer to this question. I hope it makes some sense. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Finally, we have question D, which is log, log x squared minus 5x plus 50 to base 10 is equal to. All right, so recognize the base. The base is 10. Switch it over here, make to the exponent. So this will become, just ignore the log. So this will become x squared minus 5x plus 50 is equal 10 exponent 2. And 10 exponent 2, that's going to give us 100. So x squared minus 5x plus 50 is equal 100. So now let's subtract 100 from both sides. Subtract 100 from both sides. So automatically, 100 minus 100 will cancel out, and the um, question becomes 
x squared minus uh, 5x and 15 minus 100 is going to give us negative 50 and this will be equal zero so let's get to factors of negative 50 so that we add them we should have negative 5 and those two factors would be negative 10 and plus 5 so negative 10 times plus 5 is going to give us negative 50 and negative 10 plus 5 is going to give us negative 5 so now we can just add x and put them in parentheses and equate this to 0 so now we can set each of them to 0 x negative 10 is equal 0 and x plus 5 is equal 0 so let's add 10 to both sides add 10 to both sides and also let's subtract 5 from both sides so if you do that negative 10 plus 10 will cancel out and x will be equal 10 and also plus 5 minus 5 is going to cancel out and x will be equal 0 0 minus 5 is going to give us negative 5 so all right so we have x is equal to 10 and x is equal to negative 5 so finally x is equal 10 or negative 5 and this is the final answer to this question so if you have if you have any question please send it to the comment section and i will be so glad to respond to your your question and um please remember to click on the notification button to get more and um, to get notified whenever i upload videos and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please subscribe uh, that would really uh, be appreciated thank you very much for your support i'll be looking forward to seeing you in our next video bye bye